Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to turn a, a very low quality image into a high quality vector. So if you don't know what that means, then just take this for an example. So right here I have the um, the logo for the video game Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. This is the this is the original. So this is low quality. The reason it's a low quality is because as you can tell, it's very small. Uh, I believe this image is. Um, oh, OK, well, let me just show you the difference first. So. This is before and then this is after as you can tell it's a very bigger image and it's also actually very much more clear since it's um a higher resolution so since it's kind of hard to tell the difference because of the size so this is or let me go like this so this is the original right and i just expanded it to fit the screen so you could tell that it's actually very low quality not very low quality but it's going to be low quality if you want the image to be bigger you're going to see the you know that it's low resolution you can tell right here so this is before and then this is after very it's way more clear and it's also a much bigger a much higher resolution so i believe that the original right here is this is 30 35 kilobytes and it is 640 by 360 pixels and then the the um vectorized one i believe was multiplied by multiplied in size by four and it is 2560 by 1440 pixels and that is 229 kilobytes and then i have also i'm gonna do another example right here which is on um, the uh, LA Noir logo, which is also another video game by Rockstar. So this is the before and then this is after. And then if I uh, bring this closer, this is before, this is after. I know it might be harder to tell uh, watching through a YouTube video, but that's okay because you guys will be able to see it for yourself. So this is the website for where you can get vector magic i'm not going to show you guys how to install this or download it it's just simple has you same thing you would do for any other program but uh, i'm not going to show you because that's not the point of this video i'm going to show you guys how to use this program but the website will be in the description it's vectormagic.com then they also have like another um another demo another demonstration right here of what this program does and let's open up vector magic so here it is so you're gonna want to drag and drop your image let's start with the San Andreas one right just drag it and drop it onto here and they have a bunch of options um, the most simple one to use if you're unsure is I definitely wouldn't use fully automatic but if the, the most simple one you want to use is basic that's the best one and this program does not work well with real photographs that were taken like you know with a camera you know like a like a live like live action it doesn't work well with that it's mostly artwork and uh things like that that's done on the computer so right here you're going to want to choose the one in the middle because the most most images have um blended edges so and if you can't tell just zoom in and you'll be able to tell um because a blended image will look like this it'll kind of have like somewhat transparent ones a uh, uh, one that's not blended it won't have a transparent one as you can see this one is blended right here and oh uh, and if you want to bring you could also move the picture around you know zoom in and out and then if you want to fit it to canvas you just push this button right here so we're going to do uh blended and then we're going to want to leave it transparent because this image has a transparent background and you're going to want your input quality to be um you're going to want to put it at high and then um, I like to choose custom you're better off choosing custom or unlimited colors but two is not really always the safest option so we're going to go with custom and then you're going to want to count how many colors you see on your picture and transparent does count as a color so right here we have transparent black and white so then we got to find right here what's best right here 
and it's transparent black and white we don't see any other colors right here so if you pick something like right here where there's gray then it's going to add gray into your image and you're not going to want that it's not going to have the best look to it so we're going to pick that one and then it's pretty much going to do the work for you granted it's not perfect it's not going to come out absolutely perfect but it's perfect enough so as you can see this is what it did to the image and even when we zoom in it's still very high high resolution and then if you hold down B you'll see the uh, I believe it's called the bitmap if you hold down B right here and then you, as you can see it deleted the TM part but that's okay uh, you know me personally I don't care about it a lot you're gonna have to take into your own consideration and preference so you know what you want what you don't want right here you can see that it deleted some of the black that was supposed to be inside the A right here and inside the E kind of deleted some of that but if I wanted to try and fix that I would push edit results right here and I would do something like I would first I'll select the color black and then I'll grab my pencil and then I'll kind of try to do something like this and then see if that works and if it doesn't it doesn't I'll probably just leave it as it is and undo this and that that kind of worked for the most part but they look like circles which is not really the same theme so I think I'm gonna go ahead and just delete that uh, so like that but yeah if you ever see any like errors in your image then you just wanna you'll be able to edit it slightly Although sometimes it does get really tricky. So right here, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna fix that right there because it's bothering me. And so now I like it the way it is. So I'm just gonna go with this one. And right here is where you can select where you wanna save it and what size you wanna multiply it by. If you want to leave it on the same size, Keep in mind the original image is 640 by 360 pixels. Then if you want to keep it that size, then you would leave it at times one. If you want to expand it to be very high quality, then you could either do times two or times four, or you could select more and you could do times five all the way up to uh, times 24. I usually just do times four because that's enough. And then right here, you can select what type of uh, image format you want to do. You have the option between a BMP, JPEG, a PNG, and TIFF. I would recommend the most simple one is uh, doing PNG, or if not PNG, then JPEG, which is uh, JPG. The reason is that uh, PNG is a lossless image format, so I, that's the one I recommend uh, usually. JPEG is usually a compressed image format. So I'm just going to go ahead and select uh, PNG. You could rename it right here. And then you could save it right here is where you could select where you want to save it and then you would just save it but I already showed you guys um, this example in the beginning so we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and do the LA Neuer one now so uh, I would just drag and drop it onto on top of here and it'll just delete the old one and we're gonna go ahead and go through the similar process Hold on, let me go back to make sure that this is blended. And as you can see, it's blended. Most art, most artwork usually is blended. And then I'm gonna leave transparent because there's transparent, do high quality. Custom colors, I see three for sure because we have transparent, we have red, and then we kind of have this orangey yellowish thing going on. And then see, this is exactly what you wouldn't want to do is you wouldn't want to choose this one that it's on right now because it's gonna add this weird like transparent red thing into it and it'll just ruin your image and this is the one that I counted right here so that's what I'm gonna do and then there it is as you can see high quality vector right there and if you hold down B there's the bitmap for it I think it did delete the little R thing but that's okay cuz I me personally I don't really care about that and then if I did want to, like, let's say um, 
this still was left in the image, then I could just go ahead and go edit and uh, delete that. And redo it and it would be gone. So then I hit next, then I save it, do whatever I want to it right here, and then I would be good. And yeah, another, and if, um, I can show you guys a couple other images that I have that are, are that I did vectorize using vector magic, which would be right here. I don't have the old images though, so you'll just have to like pretty much take my word for it. This one's not vectorized. This is vectorized right here. This is vectorized. That's not vectorized. This is the one we used. This one is vectorized. As you can tell, it's taking up the whole screen because it's, uh, it's a very high resolution. This one is vectorized also. It's taking up the whole screen. And then, yeah. And it's always good to have a, a high resolution image rather than a small resolution image. Because with a small resolution image, if you if you want to, like, let's say I wanted to include this in a, uh, I don't know it's I, let's say I wanted to use it somewhere in Photoshop or for example right in a YouTube thumbnail because I do make thumbnails for the channel if I wanted to use something like this sorry about that I would have to leave it this size because if I make it any bigger you're gonna be able to tell that it's super low quality and that doesn't look good you want things to look high quality so if I use an image like this that'll be good and it is too big it's actually it's really big it's actually bigger than my screen it's just that my screen could only fit this much because I believe this is 1440 yeah and my screen is a 1920 by 1080 but the thing is even if your image is bigger if you make it smaller it's still gonna look good and clear no matter what but with a small image on the other hand if you make it look bigger it's not gonna look good and yeah that's how you turn there are well there is this isn't the only way to make vector to uh, vectorize images and make them super high quality i know there's a couple methods in photoshop but this is my definitely my favorite program to make vectors when i have a low like low quality artwork um i could make a video on the photoshop tutorial i think a photoshop i could do a photoshop tutorial but this is going to be it for now and uh yeah just have fun with um um, any low quality, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> with any uh, low quality images that you have that you now you can make them into, you know, high quality vectors and they'll look super crisp, super clear. Uh, maybe even be able to use them for your wallpaper, you know, because I know it always bugs me when I have a low quality wallpaper. So other than that, thank you for watching. Let me know if you need any help in the uh, comments and I'll try to get to as many of them as I can. And hopefully there will be more videos, more tutorials on the way. So, yeah. Thank you, guys. God bless you. And uh, have a good one.